welcome back to Superior Sunrise. I'm Mark Offold. Final day of a great week here. The Bell Ringer sale will be selling cattle here again uh, coming up. But first, a visit with a good friend of ours, Dr. John Davidson, the Senior Associate Director of Beef Cattle Professional Services with our friends and partners at Beringer Ingelheim Animal Health. Doctor, good to talk to you again. Uh, I guess a, an older topic, but new tools for cattle deworming. Where do we start there this morning? Great to be back with you, Mark. I, I wanted to just kick things off here with uh, telling our, our audience a little bit about what BI launched last year with our four pillars of deworming to really uh, go back to the basics and, and remind our, our ranchers and producers out there how to get the most benefit out of their deworming program. Mm -hmm. And there are four pillars, sustainable deworming. Let's go through those one at a time. You bet. So in, in a nutshell, the uh, you start with diagnostics and that's understanding what the parasite burden in the cattle at, at that time is the based off that you you do uh, treatment uh, we are really advocating combination treatment which is using uh, two different compounds two different uh, drugs from dim different classes mm -hmm. so the the typical poron injectable uh, type uh, abramectins macrocyclic lactone type products and then the oral drench white wormers as part of the combination treatment. We're seeing incredible growth in the white wormer uh, uptake out in the industry, recognizing that uh, the producers are seeing the benefits of adding that second tool in the deworming program. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the third uh, really is, is getting back to what I mentioned in, in terms of just uh, good old fashioned stewardship and stockmanship of our resources, and that is uh, pasture and forage management basics of stocking rate, forage, grazing height, and so on, pasture rotations, those things, we've, we've known about them for decades. Uh, keeping those top of mind when we're asking the, the, the most out of our, uh, our products is going to be important. And the last uh, component or pillar really is, is a, a newer concept and one that uh, we're, we're learning more and more about uh, with each uh, passing year and some internal study as well, and that is leaving some groups of, of cattle untreated to maintain uh, a population of susceptible parasites in that uh, pasture environment. Yeah, makes sense. You know, uh, we talked a year ago, we mentioned they uh, introduced the long range calculator. Before we run out of time this morning, I want you to give us an update there, doctor. You bet. Uh, we had a group of uh, veterinarians join us in uh, Amarillo, Texas last year, gave us some feedback on mm -hmm. uh, needing a more useful tool you can go to the longrangelook.com and really uh, uh, get a first-hand look and utility of this tool to help you with your uh, the decision-making around your deworming choices. Uh, really excited to roll that out this year. You can speak to your BI folks about that. Um, and the last thing I want to close with here, Mark, is uh, congratulations to you on the, the broadcaster uh, farm journalist of the year from the NAFB last spring. Uh, well, congratulations. Thank you. That's very nice of you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. It's an honor as well. You know, so again, it's a it's a topic we've gone over before, but it's so good to visit with you again about new tools for cattle deworming. Dr. John Davidson, Senior Associate Director, Beef Cattle Professional Services, Beringer Ingelheim Animal Health. Doctor, good to be with you. And we're going to be selling some more cattle here. We're winding up the Bell Ringer sale. Beth will be right back after this.